Namaste friends, this is Anish Mandal and welcome back to my tutorial how to be anonymous online, bypass internet censorship restriction and protect your privacy. So far in my tutorial, I have covered various topics including web browsing, proxy, VPN and TOR, how to be anonymous on your mobile and in my last tutorial, I have covered the demo about the email services how identity thief can use fake email addresses to send email behalf of your name or your email id and also how you can protect your inbox from spam and junk mails using fake email id those kind of mails in my this tutorial i am going to cover how we can protect our inbox how we can so that no one can dig in our private messages so before proceeding that we need to understand how mail works in simplest example think the mail is like a postcard and every email works in the two part first part and second part first part called header and second part called body in header you need to mention the mail address whom you want to send a mail then from where include your id and your location when you send a mail in body part all the message so whenever you send email it's like a plain postcard so your free email service provider or even any spy agency can look your messages they can read the body content also we can't encrypt header part because it's contain the necessary information that need to be verified that the sender or receiver is genuine but the body contain the actual message what we want to send we can encrypt that messages so let's see another example this is ajay ajay wants to send email to neha so he use his public mail id to send a mail to neha it is a personal mail and same email id ajay used to send a mail to vinay the confidential mail so whatever he sent his free mail service provider can dig into mail and read the content of his messages the same way even the spy agencies can see the mail or if hacker gains the access of ajay's inbox email address so he can read all the content so it is possible to secure emails by using pgp PGP is a pretty good privacy created by Philip Sullivan and it was released in US in 1991 but the problem is that it is a private or closed source so because of this private it has more restriction to use PGP outside of the US so there is another alternative called GNUPG it's GNU Privacy Guard also known as GPG it's a open source software based on open pgp standard and in my this tutorials i am cover how we can use gnupg or open pgp.js script and pgp standards works with the public and private key so let's see how public and private key actual works for this example think this is our private key and this is our public key so whenever Ajay wants to send mail to Neha, he will write a letter and in that body part, he will use Neha's public key to encrypt that message and send via email. And once the encrypted message received Neha's inbox, she will use a private key to decrypt that message to make it readable. And same way works with Finan. Ajay needs to use Vinay's public key. So let's see the demo. First we'll see browser based email protection using PGP encryption. I'm showing application called Mailvelope. It's an extension based on openpgp.js script. You can see Mailvelope source is available on GitHub and you can install Mailvelope on your Chrome browser using Chrome Store, but the Mailvelope application is not directly available in Firefox add-on. We need to download it 
from the level of site here you need to click it because of this application is not reviewed by Mozilla so it's not available directly in add-on search option you need to use this services to search this click add add to Firefox you can see once the mailvelope is installed you will get this kind of icon so first we just need to create the keys here we need to create keys as you know PGP works on private and public key so first we need to generate a key key generation is very simple you just need to click generate keys then type name email address In advanced option you can use the encryption algorithm or you can change key bits but it's better to make it default then the password to protect private key whatever you want don't forget this password and click submit within a few seconds it will generate the key successfully generated you can see in a display key so here I have my primary public key and private key and here you can import your public and private keys I'll just import it of some of mine so here I have imported my email addresses public and private key let's see the example how actually it works I'll just go to my gmail inbox Click compose mail to mail ID subject then message part you will get this kind of icon just need to click on it here you can compose your message then click on encrypt you can notice there is two option called sign and encrypt I'll just explain sign in my next demo but for this demo I'll just click on encrypt it will ask me whom I'm going I'm sending the mail this is the mail ID where I want to send mail ID so click add and click ok so the message is now encrypted using my live mail IDs public key and just need to click transfer message is here and just click on send in my live mail id you can see i have received the message once i click it's not readable format but the mailable app extension will provide me to decrypt this message i just need to click on it then it will ask me to enter my private key password and click OK so here you can see I am able to read the message or decrypt the message but the issue with this application it works only public email provider so now we know how we can use OpenPGPJS with extension to encrypt our mail messages on browser but what if we use email clients then yes there is an alternative available for mail client it's a gpg base where you need to install gnupg and igni mail extension in your thunderbird let's see this in my demo to encrypt mail messages on our private mail ids or on email client first we need to install pgp application gnu pg you can download gnu pg for your windows system gpg for Win, mac os your android device you need to use guardian project which i have covered in my mobile device protection series 
and in Linux all I just need to open the terminal command install Thunderbird client then use this command it will install new pg and the mail extension that use open pgp based email security once we install both tools it's already installed all we just need to start the thunderbird application and create the key so in our thunderbird client we just need to go to that extension click on key management i am already using client with my those private mail id to create new key we just need to click generate new key pair here we need to select the mail id which we want to create a public and private key then passphrase it's better to add a passphrase to protect our private key from unauthorized access then next key expiry date i always prefer to use expiry date one year or two years then in the advanced option you can select key size what you want to click and then click generate key it will take a time to create a new key pair and here i have already installed i'll show the demo how it works with our mail client in from my write up mail box i'll create write message then mail id subject Then in email, you just need to click on this extension. When you initialize this application first time, you just require to configure it. We can enable this extension whenever we send the mail. Then we can use the default open key, open PGP key, or we can click and select the manual key if we want to like here i did it will be used as a identification of my another mail id private and public key for encrypted signing message and here you can choose the default setting if you want to sign message by default you can tick this and what is the sign message it's the same way that your private key will be used as an identification that you are the authorized person that will be cross reference with the public key which the receiver will have in his inbox you just need to click sign encrypted message those all permission just need to be enabled and remember guys I am just using my another mail id's key that's why i select how you specify key and by default you just need to use your email address as an identity and then click ok ok and here click both just enable those icon and click send so here the mail message is encrypted and it's sent here you can see it's uh, encrypted by default i just need to ins insert my passphrase to decrypt it and yeah you can see good signature from my mail id here we can verify that it has been sent by authorized mail id by seeing this signature option 
so that is all how we can secure protect our email in my next tutorial i'll cover file transfer using anonymous technique